Well, all morning, as you know, we've been speaking with former colleagues, longtime friends of Wendy here on News 4. And we continue now with former News 4 sports reporter Lindsay Zarniak. She joins us. It looks like you're in your car there, yeah. Lindsay. Lindsay. With I know. A, it's up. <laughs> Well, happy happy Easter, uh, Lindsay. We we appreciate your your uh, making time for us. What, what do you want people to remember about Wendy? Um, well, thanks. It's always great to talk to you guys. Of course, I wish these were different circumstances. We are um, outside of church, so that's why I am mm -hmm. in my car. So I apologize about that. But um, this hit us hard up here uh, in Connecticut because she was just so wonderful. And I, the thing that I wanted to share most is that I don't even know that. I've shared this a lot, but when I was in high school, I think, um, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, looking, you know, thinking about internships and things, you know, I was a kid in Virginia, Northern Virginia in Central mm -hmm. Nerville. And part of the reason that I went into this business was watching the local news, you know, watching Channel 4, watching Channel 9, just all in and, and the comfort that it gave me. And Wendy, I remember specifically being just really captivated um, and at that point it was in college by the way that she was so honest and so herself. Mm -hmm. And so I remember writing her a letter um, at the time before I needed to get an internship and saying, hey, could I come by the station and, and pick your brain? And I can't remember if it was a requirement for a class or why I did that, but she said, sure, come on. And I had watched a stand-up she did where she was drinking from a water bottle. And I will never forget these words because she, she spilled water on herself in the stand-up and she said, drink much, Wendy. And when she did that, I remember watching at home and being like, that is so cool because yeah. that is just so real and that is so relatable. Yeah. And as, I, if I've, as I've moved in my career, you know, I think, you know, you saw a lot of sports stuff that Wendy was doing having fun, but I think that's what the magic of Wendy is. And, yeah. and I think being able to be so authentic and relatable to viewers is what really makes things special. So there she is on the Zamboni <laughs> there. Right, right, exactly. And that kiss, by the way, I heard that was to Dan Buckley, right? So yeah. who knew? So that's that's who she was blowing, who was um, shooting that video. But um, oh. so anyway, Wendy, to wrap up that story, I came into the station. She told me to meet her before the um, 5 o'clock news in the green room where she was getting ready and doing her hair and makeup. And I sat there with a tape recorder. And she was telling me the story of how you know, her career to that point had played out and the, the choices she had made. And I have that tape somewhere, but I just remember being in such awe of her. She was probably putting on Armani Red. and She was just <laughs> larger than life. Oh. And I was listening to her talk about these stories of antebellum houses. And I, I can't even remember what the story was specifically, but <laughs> she was just so great. And yeah. I, uh, you know, Melvin and I being up here in Connecticut, there is a pot that we use uh, to cook pasta sauce, and it's the pot that she gave us at our wedding Aww. for our wedding 10 years ago. And every time I use it, I swear I think of her because she just represented Dorian like you, like a strong woman mm -hmm. that was doing what I wanted to do. And for her, taking no BS, right. you know, but um, exactly. and, and yeah, in the last part, I'll say is just it. Dan is so special to me because of how close you know, you become with your coworkers and spending all that time driving to and from sporting events, mm -hmm. spending time away traveling. And when I saw that, you know, what their news was and getting together, it was like, it, that's just a whole other thing. I love yeah. him so much. And yeah. my heart breaks, you know, not just for all of D.C., but for him especially as well. So we, well we, we should make sure people know that uh, that Lindsay's talking about Wendy's husband, Dan Buckley, who Thank is you. a longtime colleague of ours, a photojournalist who uh, we covered saw a quick news picture and of sports. Him right yes. there just for a moment. Yeah. Lindsay, we love that look back. And you should know, I'm sure she's told you, if not, how happy and proud she was of all your success yes. and when you took off um, she was uh, it was nice to hear how she took you under uh, her wing in the very beginning but she was so happy for you and Craig to give Thanks. him our best and happy Easter to both of you I will well and you know what she would take Craig out to uh, they would go have drinks together sometimes <laughs> yeah. and I remember being worried because I'm like wait a minute what are you telling Wendy like, Wendy's my person. I was like, this is my Wendy. Be careful. Exactly. Like, who are you coming into this town? I love and, but it. I can remember meeting them for martinis in Georgetown and being like, okay, this is so strange. Does anyone know that he and I are dating? And, of course, Wendy did. She had the whole yeah. scoop. So. Uh -huh. hey, and if Wendy knew, the whole town knew, Lindsay. Okay? We figured that out. <laughs> All right. All, right. All the best so to you. True.
Great to love see you. Love you guys. We love you. you too. Happy Easter. Lindsay Zarniak, probably one of many uh, young, uh, young uh, journalists and broadcasters inspired by. So true. By Wendy.